guys welcome back to my channel hi guys welcome back to my channel i do not feel good today i feel like crap it's my boyfriend got sick and he came home sick and i was trying to quarantine him in the living room but now i'm starting to feel bad and it sucks it's like scary especially with everything going on but even though i don't feel good i'm gonna frick was that even though i don't feel good i'm still gonna go ahead and tell you one of my stories that happened at my mom's house why did i clap again this one's probably like the least scary one but this is where i wanted to start out with um before i start just so you know many things had already happened at my mom's house so this was almost like a buildup of sleep paralysis things moving and talking and making noise so let's get started okay so the house that my mom owns right now used to belong to my grandmother when she passed away my mom bought it from my uncle so we used to live there with my grandmother but then we moved to a new house then when my grandmother passed away we then bought the house and moved back in so even when we were little weird things happened there so it wasn't like this started out of nowhere no ever since we were small i can remember creepy things happening in my grandma's house now belonging to my mom so usually i i always had a bad time sleeping like every single day when i knew it was nighttime that is the time that i dreaded the most because of everything that would happen to me um but the one that i want to talk about <laughs> is just like okay it's a little freaky i don't want to hype it up so usually i have problems going to sleep and i find myself basically daydreaming for like two hours until i finally doze off and fall asleep so i was laying on my bed and i had already like hit that point where i was finally falling asleep until i got woken up by the sound of my keyboard typing on its own. So I don't know about you guys, but when I was smaller and I used to get scared, I would freeze. Like my body couldn't move. I couldn't speak. I was just like frozen in terror. And I was thinking, no, like this has to be a dream because as soon as I heard the noise and woke up, I didn't hear it again. So I was like, no, 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 this was a dream. Like uh, my keyboard is not typing. So I was like, okay, I rolled over to face away from the keyboard. And as soon as I decided that it was nothing because I didn't hear the noise again, the keyboard started typing again. But this time I'm fully awake. Like I'm literally like, did I just hear that? And then I start pinching myself because I'm like, no, cause if I'm in a dream, like, can I pinch myself? Like, I'm awake. I'm definitely awake. I do. I am the biggest scaredy cat ever. When I was little, when I shared a room with my sister and my brother, I would physically wake them up to make them look in the closet even though I hadn't seen anything. I would literally just wake them up and be like, there's something there, but I didn't see anything. Like, it was almost like an excuse. I would be like, okay, I'm going to wake them up and tell them there's something there so that they can be awake and then I could fall asleep and hopefully I fall asleep before they go to sleep. <laughs> messed up logic as a kid okay don't judge me <laughs> okay so i started pinching myself and i'm like no 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 lefty you are awake i don't know how but i literally talked myself into turning the light on so where i slept like right next to the door my head was right below the light switch so I hear the typing of my computer keyboard and I was like I'm so over this because mind you I have dealt with things happening to me in that house for so much at that point that I was like no I am not gonna be frozen in terror I am not gonna let this thing like make me feel this way so I was like okay Letty, you're gonna turn that light on and you're gonna face it you're gonna face whatever is typing on your keyboard and you are not going to be scared. <laughs> and at that point, I was maybe like 18 years old. So my, my siblings are like two years older than me 
and then another two years older than him. So by that time, they were out of the house. It was me and my younger siblings still live in there. So the room that we used to share now just be belonged to me. So I was alone in there. So <sighs> I'm all over the place because I'm just like remembering all the shit that happened to me there. So I talked myself into turning that light on and I was like, okay, again, I'm talking to myself in my head because at this point, that typing is constant. Like it didn't just stop like it did before where I thought I was dreaming. It was like, you know, type, 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 like just like little types on the keyboard, right? So <laughs> I talk myself into turning the light on and I'm like, okay, telling myself on the count of three, you're gonna pick your arm up and you're gonna turn that light switch on and you're just gonna face whatever's there. So I start the countdown and I was like, three two one and i just like switch it on i didn't even i didn't even blink my eyes were like no like i'm gonna see what's there when i turn that light on on my keyboard i see a fucking cat <laughs> just tell you me and this cat have had the worst time ever this cat almost knew that how to annoy the crap out of me and these i mean we live in the country so the cats that we lived in the country i live in austin now i don't live there <laughs> so the cat the cats that we had in the house they were not indoor indoor cats they're like outside cats so i left a sandwich like a half-eaten sandwich on my desk where my computer was and the cat was typing because his paws were on the keyboard while he was trying to eat the sandwich <laughs> like the one time i finally like grew the courage to face these demons ghosts whatever it was it was a cat it was a freaking cat. Me and this cat never got along. This cat would always sneak into the house and for whatever reason, just want to be go in my room. <sighs> so yeah, that's it. This is not like a ghost. I, this isn't like the stories that I want to tell, but I wanted to tell this one because this is a nicer one. This is the one that I just want to get out of the way because it's, you know, <laughs> it's a little easier to tell you this one rather than the other ones that I have, which are messed up. <laughs> Hopefully you like my video and guys, please subscribe to me, like this video and let me know what you want me to post on here. I obviously want to do more scary stories, so I've been saving those up. I might do some a little later. Um, but if you want to hear my real paranormal scary stories, maybe I should post them a little later today. I just feel under the weather, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just sitting here talking, so there's no harm in that, right? I feel like the only harm in this is that I look like this. My hair is one day old hair. I'm wearing a onesie and I feel like poopy, but that's not important because Why is that not important? <laughs> it is not important because what you look like is not important. You should feel amazing at whatever point of life you're in, okay? I feel like I'm like convincing myself. Like, you're okay, just post it. Who cares if you look like an idiot? Post the video! Post it!